fire. Tooling still has the good stuff. It's just that you got to optimize it a little bit more and kind of mix it up for this new game. So we'll I'm see definitely if liking. Adapt. Yeah, I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing from both these players. And now we get to see the Ike come out. Sergeant so Extraordinaire yep. going with the Radiant Dawn skin, which I think is objectively correct. Look how cool young Ike is, man. I also like that color scheme. That's like my favorite color scheme for Ike. The blues. Oh yeah. They're the actually blues. both on blues. Yeah. Matching blue trunks. Blues and twos, man. It's like they're doubles teammates that got mad at each other because one of them kept hitting the other too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mel. <laughs> I need you to calm down. He was at 4% and you just read his spot Dodgers F smash. That was bold. But James taking control of the stage, using I'm things like there. the Zare, using things like the boomerang. Now Mel's job is the opposite of the Richter job. You're trying to keep away and now your job is to get in. Yes. So far, doing a pretty good job of just kind of staying within James's range, not getting hit by a whole lot of those setups. Oh, that was really close. If that, if uh, maybe if Excelmo let the trigger go a little bit earlier, then that might have hit, but. Trying to cross up the shield with the forward air, but ooh, you oh, you thought you could air dodge. The directional air dodge into the top platform. James sniffed it out and manages to take that stock. Selmo's shown some really good patience. And then just kind of waiting for James and seeing what he does on the ledge, and then she just kind of reacts pretty well to whatever he's going to be doing. Getting these grabs is always a mark of a strong Ike because you know Ike wants to hit you with the big moves. Like that forward tilt right there, and that's going to even things up at two of stocks apiece. Ike always wants to swing that big sword around, right? So when you can scare someone into shield enough and you're landing your grabs, that means it'll open up more opportunities to get these juggles in. And we're seeing Mel closing the, uh, the deficit here, finally yep. getting a percent lead on the second stock. Yeah, and Ike with so much more juggle potential now because of that new up air having crazy range and a wide sweeping path. Trying to fall down with neutral air, but spacing himself just out of range with his jabes. Oh, jeez. Stuffed him out with a forward air, almost enough to blow up Toon Link on the left. Things like down tilt and nair are going to lead to some kill confirms at this percent for Ike into that new up air. So you have to be very mindful of those. Of the boomerang to stop their approaches. Selmo off stage. <laughs> the, <laughs> the moments where they just lock up and not do anything, you just tell like they're just going through all the options that they can in their head. James gets the percent lead back. Oh, and the counter was nice, but you get back thrown out of it. And oh, okay, I Ike ate his Wheaties. He's gonna live this time. Yeah, Ike's still pretty heavy, so he's gonna be living for a long, long time. Even to stuff like Toon Link back throw. If it's not like right at the edge of the stage on Battlefield, then yeah, Ike's gonna be living. I think up throw will kill for Ike, or you can just or do you that. Could, I, I think, or you could just, yeah, just go for it there. It's the big stick, and James right back at you with that chase from the boomerang into the up smash. That new forward smash from Toon Link is so curious. What do you think of that move? Uh, I'm glad it's not multi-hit because it means that it's going to force two links to kind of be a little bit more consistent and to space out the front of them better. Because before it was like, oh, well, if I don't get it, then the second hit will... They don't have to... Cover. Like, yeah. yeah. They don't have to kind of rely on that as a safety blanket. They can, like, do some really, really cool stuff and also just do stuff at low percent with it because... That's, <laughs> that's the classic right there. You think, oh, okay, well, I'm going to roll in. Ike's not going to F-Smash. But then he does, and then you die at 75% or whatever it would be after you hit him. And Selmel still showing some great patience and just going for it off stage. Not dead yet. Oh, no. Oh, but no, it was too far away for the up B to snap back to ledge. James is going to take it off of the unfortunate SD from Excelmel. And after the really spark see flew. that. Oh. I, th I think Ike still can't grab that reverse. You know, because you definitely, she definitely had it. enough distance, but that's she didn't grab. That's gotta be it. She was, she was right there, I guess. 
That's that's huge for Ike. Oh wow. <sighs> Unfortunate. You really do hate to see it end like that because it was very competitive set. Yeah, it was a very competitive set, and she, it was right there, and she had it. But the DI saving James's life. Close, but not quite enough. And now uh, XML will have to make the loser's bracket run. She's very confident, of course, you can see in her character. I believe it. So we'll oh, be I believe it. it I can believe happen. that she's going to make life and losers pretty bad for people. So. Agreed. Uh, so we're going to be jumping back to the next match. I believe this could be two make winner side top eight, depending on the bracket. It's going to be Shell versus Josh King. Man, this, this matchup, I have not seen this in a very long time. A lot of people have not seen this in a long time. Uh, Josh King, he is a game. Of, he was a Game & Watch player in 4. I don't know who he's playing right now. And I the, believe he's still on the Game & Watch. Still on the Game & Watch? Game & Watch got some fun, I don't know if I'm going to call them good yet, but fun new tools. Yeah. So Josh King has always been the jank expert when it comes to Game & Watch. He knows all the little tricks, all the little plays, the little areas where you think, okay, well, he's throwing out a move. I can punish it. It turns out to be a frame trap, and you get hit with something really wacky. Knows the distances of the win box, all that kind of stuff. He's a very adept at character knowledge in particular. Mm. He knows the tank for basically most of the characters in the cast. Game & Watch, though, is just his specialty because he just knows. Uh, in the past, he's also messed around with, like, a Sonic. I don't know if I've seen him play it in yeah, this game. He's messed yet. around with Sonic. He's messed around with, uh, I know he's messed around with Korn a little bit, too. Oh, I've never seen his Corrin. That's interesting and news to me. Yeah. Corrin also a, a Jankmeister. Oh, no. Oh, they they, they this, gotta be. This is, this is button gotta be button there's, there's no way that they're gonna. How did they random into Mario Cloud? <laughs> this is the most boring matchup you could random into. <laughs> yeah, see, now, th this is. They're not going to go random. I'm pretty sure this is a to get out of the pool in the top, uh, like, either in the top eight or in the top 16, into higher brackets. So they're not gonna. This is gonna be. No. It's going to be try hard. It's going to be try hard. Especially because this is, I AF. believe, Shell's first tournament back. Yeah, this is his first tournament back, yeah. After a very, very long retirement. He's looking oh, to contest. come back to a couple more monthlies. Weeklies is still up in the air because Wednesdays he does work, and he does work night shifts on Wednesdays, so can't come out to ignition, unfortunately. But a couple of other ones in the area, definitely maybe Poplar, maybe Tripoint, you know, other stuff that's in the area. So will it be the matchup we predicted? We talked about Shell's Ryu quite a bit earlier on oh, yeah. when he uh, laid down a shellacken in the first match on the stream. Yeah, and the slobber knocker that he was in the first one showed off some of the new tricks that Ryu has, like the special cancels into his aerials. So we'll see how this happens. This is going to be very interesting to see indeed. Game & Watch is a contender to uh, die it from a Shoryu at like 45%, so we'll see how this ends up going here. And, oh, using that bomb and trying to cover his landing, but already looking at the bucket. Interesting. Hey, this is going to be one matchup where Ryu's, uh, Ryu's fireballs are definitely going to be something that you want to put on the back foot, simply because bucket is a factor that exists. All right, Tatsu's to get back. All right, and there you go. There's automatically the adjustment instead of going for the red fireball, going instead for the Tatsu. Spacing forward smash, not going to get the follow-up afterwards because uh, Josh King jumped in just at the right angle so that Shoryu doesn't come out fast enough. And just to stuff it. Uh, Shoryu's. Those bombs are huge. Those bombs are nutty. Th that's like the one thing in Game of Watch's new toolkit that scares me the most because you can just drop it and just have... Drift the... away. But you see the one aerial will cancel out the bomb. That's. That's going to be the counterplay, is when am I going to go in and try and go for your bomb read, and when are you just going to empty hop? But not interested at all, just going to give him the stanky leg. That's what Shell calls the toes, the gold bond toes. Gold bond, medicated powder. Oh, but catching him with the turtle. That's still a turtle, right? That is still a turtle. Okay, right? it's still a turtle. Now, Franklin's not gone anyway. It's good, I love Franklin. Up air. Down throw in the nair. This is a matchup where focus isn't terribly useful for Ryu. You see how many multi-hits Game & Watch has. He has a ton. Yeah. He has neutral air, he has jab, he has uh, up air technically has two hits to it. Oh, two. Watch that bucket. If he lands one more, that could be a zero to death combo potentially onto Ryu. 
Ooh, right, okay. That's the first time that we've seen Focus come out from Shell, and he almost kills with that down tilt to show you. That would have murdered him in Smash 4, so that's certainly nerf. And the neutral air, multiple hits. Catching the focus this time, you see why that can't be a super useful tool in his arsenal. Just gotta be watching. We gotta be mindful of True Tatsu because it still has a pretty big hitbox. Oh! <laughs> I can't oh! believe that worked! That just lasted a year! That, that, that forward smash lasted until Smash 6. Yep, that, that's what Shell's talk about when he says gold bond toes. Strongest toes in the world. Ryu walks the earth 365 days a year, and that is exactly the result of it. <laughs> oh, that was so ridiculous. Ryu is still maybe Jankmeister Supreme, but all right, you give him the, give him the chair. Yep. Get out of here. Train conductor, Game & Watch. Shell relying on some pretty good spacing. Josh King obviously not going to jump in when he's doing the forward smash charge. He almost gave Josh King the bucket there. You have to be careful. He got lucky that Josh King was not ready on the reaction with downbeat. Yeah. Like Josh King's timings in the jump in has been really what's been saving him from getting hit by any of Shell's Shoryuken attempts. There. Josh King has a lead here, but you're Focus dead. Attack. No! No, it was only level one. Back throw. Going to put Josh King in a pretty good situation. Oh, but the landing leg saving Shell. Falling out of the turtle. Up throw. Oh, Tatsu, but no punish. Shell just going for these things in neutral. Like, the Tatsu would definitely have killed Game Watch, but there's so many opportunities for a punish afterwards. Shell definitely not showing any fear. Almost had the Shoryu there. A little too deep. Oh, he was just a little bit earlier. He could have let that rip. Focus stack getting grabbed. Up throw, not going to kill quite yet. Can't fall into an up air at this percent. Sausage coming out. Forward throw here? No. No, okay. up throw. And that up air, the killing power on it seems quite nerfed, but it was oh, Shell that SD. No. Shell SDing. Bringing a kind of an anticlimactic end to that set. But showing some stuff. That extended hitbox of Ryu's F smash. That was silly. <laughs> that was that was the hype right there. Just do it. Mm -hmm. Final destination, the, the comfort pick for Shell in many matchups. Not surprised to see him go here right now. And should stick with the Ryu game and watch. Yep, no character changes either way. Shell just needed to clean up, I think, a little bit. He got juggled a lot on that last stock. He did. I think, honestly, the, he's recognizing that the problem that he has right now is that if he's on platforms, he's getting caught whenever he's going back to those platforms. So level the playing field. Both have equal amount of juggle opportunities. And also the space to just kind of deal with Game of Watch in this neutral. Nice dash back into the forward throw. That's one thing that Shell has been trying to incorporate in this new Ryu is just incorporating the fact that he's always facing forward to incorporate like those little dash backs into Ryu's already really good footsie game. Looking for a down air on the side. You saw him do that empty hop back. But okay, forward smash into the land. Those will blow up Game & Watch, don't forget. Focus dash back into the Shoryuken and he's gonna take that first stock. Com comfortable lead for Shell. Yep, cleaning and up the neutral really nicely. Clearly taking away the platforms from Game & Watch is affecting his game. What move is that? Is that up tilt? I think that was up tilt. That's his new up tilt? Right? That, that looks weird. I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I don't know if I'm a fan of that. I like a lot of the new moves, but that one is a little funky. Yeah. Back air get off me. I show a lot of stage control at the moment, but the turtle returning the favor. You're dead. Doesn't even do the true shore. You can. He just focuses, focuses, and right into the up B. I'm trying to think of like how oppressive those Game & Watch bombs would be if you couldn't just attack straight into them. They would be insane, right? They'd be like the best move in the game. They'd be crazy if they were a true projectile. 
Nice All trade right. with the Nair, giving Shell backstage control. True Tatsu coming through, and that is going to kill. That's a pretty sick mix-up on the ground. Yeah, that that that's actually pretty nice. I like that. And that's a three stock for Shell, so the adaptation absolutely has been made. It is now up to Josh King to come up with some stuff in game three to reverse the fortunes. Uh, he's definitely going to be thinking about some counter picks right now. Uh, Shell, that was a very, very dominant game two. And that's just kind of the uh, player that Shell is, that he's one where if he gets on the back foot, he's really, really good at adapting mid-set and kind of mm. making the changes that he needs in order to get a solid control on, on the neutral game. Yep, locked into both characters, no counter picking, no nonsense, no frills. Let's get to it. I actually didn't see what stage they picked, did you? I didn't, know. Okay, Ryu versus Game & Watch. Three, it's gonna be Callus. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, but there's a color counter pick. We're all on defaults. Nice cancels into the shore. You can there showing some nice combos. That's like a Street Fighter 4 combo, isn't it? Uh that's that's also a third strike combo. That's that's standing fierce in the shore you can. He's always had that. Oh, okay. Since since the dawn of like, since the dawn of fighting games, aka Street Fighter 2. <laughs> he has that in Super Turbo, you know? This is basically Super Turbo Ryu, but with focus attack. Alright, forward smash gonna land here, get good damage in and stage control. And now Game & Watch can do and some platform juggles. traps. Air dodge trap. Shell's gonna have a rough time getting back to stage and reading the recovery really nicely, and Josh King's gonna take that first stock. That juggle was huge. That juggle was. That was like zero to everything dead, but all right, it that's is. a classic. That's the Shell classic, man. You will find a way to land that at least once on you in a set. Okay. Yeah. We got parries. Yeah. He plays Third Strike, man. Of course he's got parries. Get juggled a little bit again here, and these tech chases from here Josh King are landing. This is really dangerous seeing these up air juggles. Shell just, anytime he gets into those, he's just struggling to find a way down safely. And that's the classic get off me from uh, Mr. Game and Watch. Yep. Using that trampoline, comes out so fast. Just a defensive measure. Oh, grabs right out. Right out of the down smash. Oh, that could have been a shield break if Shell wasn't careful. His shield's still very low. But all right, you're gonna get a grab here. Shell finally gets some footing. And you see that drop down. You know it's yeah. coming when he does that drop. That's a down air. Josh King's definitely got to be careful. Trying for the focus attack, but because of the multi-hit moves, not going to get in on that. Trying again for the Shoryu after the forward smash, but Josh King doing a good job of just staying in, but sees the Tatsu coming, and now Shell is down to his last stock. Potentially last stock in winners, and okay, the stall a little bit from Josh King here. Uh, waiting on the ledge. All right, yeah, he knew he couldn't re-grab the ledge, so you gotta eat that punish. Slowing things down, though, very drastically, yeah, Josh. This is, this is the kind of thing that you don't want to happen, is when your opponent can slow down the game just to your level. And Shell's just having a really hard time trying to find his way in. These up air juggles once again coming in. He might be really dead clutch, here. And this might be oh, a no, dead jump. Ryu, okay. but misses the back air. Shell's still alive. One sure you can even the stock count. He's bleeding a lot though, but gets a weird reverse hitbox on the Tatsu. It's gonna keep Game and Watch alive. And jabbing on the getup, that's so fast. Shell is probably used to being able to just up tilt some getups, and that may not be the case anymore. Alright, there we go. True Tatsu coming out. Alright, 130. This is still in the range for a comeback from Shell. He's just got to play his cards right, but that bomb putting him off stage is going to put him in a bad spot. He's going to be able to make it back to ledge. Got to watch out for this ledge trap coming up. Up B, key. Go forward in the fireball. All right, these, these punishes are coming through. Damage surely happening here. Tries right, so to read the jump there. Dash back forward smash, not going to work. This is he's getting close. He's starting to string something together. So he's got to watch out. Nice fireball to poke with the up smash. 
He can use the fireballs here because there's there's nothing in the bucket for Game & Watch. Oh, and Chase is down with the grab, forward throw. Gotta watch himself, Josh King's gotta watch his jumping angles. Oh, but that's gonna do it! That's the trade, and that's going to do it, and Shell is gonna be sent to losers. Josh King beating him in a nail-biter of a game three. And Shell almost had that comeback, but that one nicely placed forward, he was just at a too high of a percent. There was nothing that he could have done about that. That was gonna be it. Yeah, the damage was done. He had the comeback almost there. That was like basically 100 unanswered percent from Shell at the very end. Almost enough to seal the deal, if, but... If, if he would have gotten hit with one more low short, that would have been it. Because that would have been low short Shoryu. Mm -hmm. Game Watch being that light of a character. And Shell having all that damage on I don't know if Rage is still... Rage on. is still in. Rage is still not in, but not as effective as it was. But still, not it's a effective. factor that you got to consider.